Hello everyone, welcome back for another round of Hand of Fate. Today we'll be facing off against the Jack of Skulls. Another round, and our game truly begins. Now, I, I have a bit of a confession to make. I actually already made the Jack of Skulls, but uh, my recording messed up. So, we're gonna beat him again. It wasn't... I don't know what these are. It wasn't too difficult. This time the jack will fall easily, I'm sure. Uh. Okay. Do I have any new cards? Yes, I have a bunch of new cards. But the ones that I care about. Not there. Uh, where is it? Got a new weapon, though. Got a new weapon, and it apparently isn't here. Is this it? Yes. I got a weapon that does holy damage, and against zombies, that's really good. I need to put something else in here, hold on. Sure. Alright, let's go kick his ass again. I hope. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell oh, me. Oh, awesome. Like made the rest, you are silent. Okay, I'm not going to need the health, but I will probably need the gold. And I get three I'm sure cards. You're grateful for that. So I could get an absolute ton of gold. I now have 80. That's nuts. And I got Lionel again. You see? That's what I was talking about. What do you, what do you need? And there's my shield. Awesome. It's probably going to be rather short because I actually know what I'm doing on this. Hello, on this priests, level. gods, and eternal damnations. You met, meet a no wandering priest who greets you it. in a friendly manner. Uh, sure. Oh, so I just have successes across the board. A choice. Select your desire. Damn. I didn't get huge success, but oh well. Blessing card. Blessings uh, will remain always active and are never removed. Fun. Unless you die, of course. Then you're no, back where you I began, just need an artifact. As always. It's a ride. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Uh, Certainly. I guess that's Did an alternate me for to tell stairs. Your that's nice. No. A fortune teller is at their oh most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. The Mug and Barrel Inn is renowned for attracting the most talented bards from all around. You arrive there, where is your adventures? But tonight's entertainment Every can step you take you can by food, the hearth for a but while. You will also heal as you proceed. Hours pass, and the crowd starts to thin. The bard begins to move around the room, playing requests for small groups. He serenades a pair of young lovers for a meager sum, and is then generously tipped for leading a group of blacksmiths in a raucous, raucous, in a chorus of foul language aimed at the folks next town over. Sounds like a fun time. He approaches you. Well, 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 what do we have here? A most distinguished adventurer. No tawdry tale of insipid chivalry or brash tribalism will do you, sir. Merit a stirring ballad of bloodshed, heroism, and death? No idea why I went into that voice. Bard sings for you the, fa the fabled white minotaur, a legendary beast who is master of both might and magic. Played those games was fun. Its power is much that it has felt every adventurer, bounty hunter, or treasure seeker that it has ever crossed. Oh, stop crossing it. It goes to this song. The bard leans in close to you and whispers, The white minotaur is no myth. I met a man two nights ago who hunts the beast as if it were its long shadow. I'd wager that any adventurer would be interested in the tales he told 
be over supper. That was a poor way to read that. All yours for a small donation. Oh boy. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, no. Nah, I'm good, thanks. I saw that. I don't like you. I can't give maybe gold for that. Okay, so we found the stairs Send early. Ever deeper into nah. the subterranean pit. Dead King's Hall. There's greed. gonna be a fight here. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? Tim to take them by surprise. Oh boy. Damn. I'm not getting nearly as lucky this time around. Okay, it's just more enemies. I'll be, I'll be good. No problem. I'm not getting lucky. I need food. Any, uh, any chance that the skeletons are going to have food? Now we begin to raise the stakes. The arena itself will fight against you. Beware Maybe the arena itself will fight against me. I think once I get them on the ground and I hit them, then they die. Baby. Nope. No hitting for you. See? That was pretty easy. I lost no health. Okay. Please, one of them be food. But I guess. Poison. It's the tool of the traitor. Nice. Artifacts yes, and powerful awesome abilities food. to use in combat. And equipment. Awesome. Uh free third encounters, not consume food. Are you yes. sure that's the right approach? Don't 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 doubt me. I'll do that enough myself. I don't remember how to use these. Here is all you have gained. All right, not important. Upgrades. No upgrades. I was just here. Okay, what's here? Tinker. Not what I wanted. But, you know. I don't remember what the difference between Tinker and just regular shop is. Uh. Ooh. So that's good against Lizardmen. Uh. I could buy. How much damage does this do? That's about the same, a little more. I could buy all these things. But I need to buy food. Well, okay, we're definitely gonna buy this. Interesting choice. Don't you fucking patronize me. Distinctly average. What do you expect me to say? Congratulations. I'd like you to say nothing. Okay, we're gonna buy some food. I still have 30 gold. I'm making the bad decision. Buy that. Equip it. I have four gold left, and we're going to use buy one more food, and now I'm broke as hell. I'm feeling much more confident about my food now. I have better equipment. So hopefully that'll get us 
through. Down once more, yeah, seeking the heart there. of it all. Now that helmet will reveal the stairs. There it is. All right. So there should be At one floor heart, after this. All games are about power. Indecent arrival. Not. The acquiring of power. Combining your own business in a local tavern with suddenly three masked men burst in the doors, grab a young man from the bar, and man manhandle him outside. One patron power. bursts out in protest, but is quickly silenced by the solemn stares of those around him. Give them B, Garrett. If it is his time, then it must be done. Let's follow him. Why not? We're making bad decisions. He really speaks to you. Whoa there, stranger. I really would prefer that no outsider witness what we are about to do here. I know this may look like a dark second thing we do, but you have no idea of our troubles. So I ask you not to involve yourself. We will not ask twice. We have no time for objections. The crowd turns and draws away, drags away the young man, their torches burning a mournful light into the distance. Once the light is faded from sight, you follow their path into the forest, catch up with them, and you can see as far as they are gathered around a yawning portal that whirls with malicious portents. That's not a word, but okay. Um. What the hell? Why does this have moral things in it? Fuck it. Bad decisions all around. Oh. Hmm. That's a problem. Weapon ability. Rex. Ow. Um. How much health do these things have? Well, that one's dead. Oh, that's an unblockable attack. That's bad. Nope. Get Rex. I took a lot of damage in this one fight. Oh, that's neat. That last move? Okay. Hey, everything went... Okay, it, it didn't go that great. I lost... 21 health. After you destroy the last health piece, the portal starts back to life. You were lifted off your feet and sucked in the vortex before being, being deposited back into the lead force you were ejected from earlier. Well done. And I get the token. Sweet. Yeah, I heal over time, so it's gonna be okay. Hi, it's you! A challenge for you, and a token. One night, as you lie in the forest succeed. clearing, you were disturbed by the sight of a shadowy figure watching from the darkness. Well met, the goblin exclaims, stepping into the light and sitting by the fire. Just the armed warrior I've been seeking. Yeah, you're the guy from Zaver, and you're still wearing a bad disguise. Goblin makes himself comfortable. My name is Sir Lionel, and I have some tale, a tale of woe to share with you, and perhaps an opportunity for you to make a tiny profit by misfortune. He goes on to tell the story of his troubles with the king of the goblins while lamenting his subsequent banishment from the goblin community. Hey, if you weren't running around giving away things to people who were going to kill goblins, but, you know, whatever. The king could have shown leniency, he concludes, given that his daughter and I both drunk them. <laughs> okay, I now know what's happening. Instead, he opted to make his first official act my banishment. Fool will regret it, though, for now it is time for revenge. For hundreds of years, the Goblin Kings have gathered treasure and hoarded it, and his area has been enchanted in ever-changing treasure vaults. Only the Goblin King himself knows where the treasure vaults are hidden. But now I have a way to find them. I just need a lock of elven hair to complete this magical device. Sure, why not? It means bad decisions didn't kill us before. Excellent! Just get the hair by anything as possible, don't worry. I'll find you again once the quest is complete. So, where do I get an elven hair? These are the stairs the out. Is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. What's over here? You do not seem to have the temperament for friends. Uh, I don't even like it. in the animal kingdom. As dust settles, you arrive in a small village known as Lesser Dimsgate. Why would you name your village Lesser something? 
locals are gathered and should be looking in. Something must be done, shouts the voice, raise it, anger. It took all of our golden food. Okay, that's bad. I'll go help! As you approach, the one who seems to be the leader goes as you KILL HIM! He commands, gesturing towards you. He looks like a troublemaker! You're damn right I'm a troublemaker! I'm gonna kill all of you. I just have to be more careful. I don't need to lose a lot of health for this next floor. Oh, it freezes people! That's really handy. I really should pick one to target. I'm, uh, I'm, am I not going to take any damage? I'm not going to take any damage from this. Okay then. That was really easy. He gathered the stolen supplies and returned to the village. Villagers saying those bandits will trouble you no longer. Oh, they weren't bandits. They worked for the White Council. It was our turn to give tribute. What the fuck? I don't know what the White Council is. But I'm pretty sure they're all pissed at me now. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Yeah, it is. Certainly. Okay, so this should be the last floor. You've reached the final floor. Okay, good. Perhaps this time you will find a defeat. The I beat him last house. time. Shut up. The shop. Okay, I have 20 gold. I only have four food, but I only need three. So I don't need to buy food. I don't have enough really I don't have enough gold to buy anything either. Uh what do you have? Can't afford that. Already have that. Reflex projectile. Oh, interesting. We have light armor. So I can't buy anything. Can I sell anything? I can't. Although it won't really do me any good. All that I have equipped. I don't need to buy food. So that was a useless space. Alright, move on then. Desert storm. Nature is the greatest threat. Traveling through a desert now and a dispatch. dust storm approaches, you may be, be able to reach safety of some nearby hills before the storm hits you. Uh, sure. Oh god, I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake. Yes! Oh, thank god. Your prize. Local peasant. Hungry mouths. Warm Crossing a forest clearing, you meet else. a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. The forest behind her. You sense movement. Um, I only need one. So, here, you can have two. Take your food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. While the children your eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard recently. On. Oh, that's cool. It gave me gold, and then it revealed. Well, there's only one square left, but it revealed all the other squares. So you know, I could, I do have enough food now to buy stuff. I don't have, I have enough gold now to buy stuff. I don't have the food. So we're just gonna go fight the Jack of Skulls. It I should be easy. I wonder how it must be for you to look upon the cold grave that is all human ending. Your subtitles quit working. They oh, there you go. You? When you Hello. and I are both dead, now, and none recall our tale. Here's the thing. This guy... He can just revive his little... Bitches. Minion, that's the word. And... Freeze! And he's down. 
He's really easy. Stop. Bad skeleton. Rex. Yeah. That, this fight's super easy. What card did I get this time? Oh. Ah, well done. Well done indeed. You're damn right it is. You've roused the dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. All right, now we get to the case opening parts of the game. Not really case opening, you know. We're dealing with help of priests, gain 15 health, healer's ring, and charity. And from the Starks, I get Alicia in Underworld. That was a Wonderland joke. Got it. Uh, the Maiden. Already had a Maiden, but okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about more. Uh, I don't like that. Lost in the desert. For surviving the desert storm, you receive lost in the desert. Great. Awesome. Shall we deal again? And that was the Jack of Skulls. He was really easy. I was expecting him. I actually think the first boss was harder than him. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next hand. Bye bye.